What's up Hoopers, it's Coach Alex from Think Pro Basketball and in today's video we're going to go over some of the top hesitation moves to help you become a better scorer. Alright guys, well let's dive right into it with the first one just being a regular hesitation move. Alright, now there's a couple of things we're going to talk about to help you sell the hesitation. But what we're going to do is we're going to get here, we're going to get to the elbow area. Everything we're going to do, we're going to be going through the elbows. So you can do it on both sides of the court with all four drills that you're going to see in today's video. So I've got Buddy out here, he's my defender. Now with the hesitation, I'm trying to get to the basket, but I gotta sell it as if I'm going into my jump shot. So I'm pushing this ball hard. The first thing that's gonna sell it is eye contact towards the rim, right? Because if my eyes are down and I try to hesitate, it's gonna be a little harder because I'm not selling anything. I'm not selling like I'm trying to get my jumper. So if I attack here, and I get my eyes up towards the basket and I lift my body at the same time, so I get here, I lift, I lift my eyes, I lift my body, that defender's gonna relax too. They're gonna go from this position, ah, you lift, they're gonna lift to get ready to try to contest your shot. So as I'm attacking, boom, hesitate, lift my eyes, lift my body, oops. Now I gotta push that dribble out afterwards, okay? Because if I use the hesitation dribble, and I waste my dribble by simply coming here on the hesitation and putting it right back here, it's behind me. I may lose it. I'm gonna have trouble advancing the ball forward. But if I can get my hesitation and now push that ball out in front, I've created an extra step on my defender because I've put that ball out in front of me and now I can take one less dribble to get to the basket, which makes it a lot easier. So I'm attacking, hesitate, push out, get to the basket and score. Hesitation, simple move, effective move, especially when you're putting some heat on the defenders, meaning you're coming at them full speed, they're backing up on their heels, not sure what to do as a defender, you blow by, you get to the rim. So I want you to focus on those couple of things. Attacking hard, lifting your eyes, selling your jump shot, because on your jumper, if you get here, your eyes come up, your body comes up to be ready to shoot the basketball. So I want you to get here, lift your eyes, focus on the hoop, come out of your stance a little bit with your body, hesitate, push that ball out in front, and get to the basket. Eyes, body, push, finish. Here it is in full speed. All right, guys, let's move on to move number two. We're gonna work now on a hesitation crossover. So now the same things are gonna apply still, but instead of you know using our eyes to get the defender activated and then to push the ball out in front, we're gonna cross over. Maybe we've used the hesitation a few times, defenders in anticipating it to cut you off. So we use this crossover kind of as a counter move. So I still wanna use my eyes and body, I get here, I lift a little bit so the defender lifts as well, but now we want to get here and shimmy, cross over, and put the ball in the basket. We want to use a little body, put a little movement into it to get by him, okay? So I'm attacking, ah, boom, get by him all the way to the basket to score, all right? Just another great counter move to use off of a regular hesitation, okay? But we got to sell it. Again, eyes and our body, and then we use that crossover Plant that foot, that outside foot, the same side that the ball's in. Plant it, change your weight and your momentum from this side to this side to then explode by your defender to get to the basket and to score, all right? So this is the second move, this is the hesitation cross. Here it is in full speed. All right, guys, let's move on to the third move. Again, we're gonna be working on a hesitation now with a between the legs. So right now we just worked on the hesitation to a crossover, okay? So now with the hesitation between the legs, we wanna be a little more patient, a little more methodical with this move. So when we get here, we wanna hesitate, 
boom, and then explode by using that between the legs dribble. All right, so as I attack my defender here, boom, I want to sell the hesitation, boom, change my pace, change my speed, get to the basket, and score, okay? So it's important that when we get to this spot and to this defender, that we kind of freeze them with our hesitation. We get here, we come up a little bit, and then we explode by. So when we put that ball between our legs, we want to change our speed. So we come in slow, we hesitate on them, uh, between the legs. Now we have to go from another gear. We have to go fast because now we're trying to create that advantage that we need in order to get to the basket past the defender. All right, so again, we're attacking to the basket, easy basket, easy money to score. All right, so this is the hesitation with the between the legs. Work on your pace. Again, you're doing all these drills on both sides of the court. We're going slow to fast, going at the defender, hesitate slow, between the legs quick, get to the basket and score. Check it out in full speed. All right guys, the fourth move we're gonna now use is a hesitation to a pull-up jump shot. So we're not gonna use any counter move after the hesitation. We're gonna go right into our pull-up J. All right, so now I've put the pressure on the defender. I've used the counters. I used the regular hesitation to get by. Now I just wanna get into my jumper. And why? Because my defender is backing up, okay? Because if we're pushing the ball fast and full speed, I've gotta break down because I'm trying to protect the basket. I don't want you to get all the way to the hoop. So I'm backing up. And if I get too far as a defender, that's when we want to use our hesitation pull-up jump shot. All right, so we're going to act as if now Buddy is in retreat. I want to stop him on a dime and get to my jump. So with the hesitation, it's the same thing. But now we can really exaggerate our hesitation because we know we're getting into our shot. We know we can, we're not going to put the ball back down, so we can kind of carry the basketball and then go right into our shot. So when we use this, we're coming at him. We're gonna plant that foot that the same that the ball's in. So if the ball's on my right hand, I'm gonna plant that right foot, okay? So I'm here, I'm pushing. I plant that right foot, I hesitate, I'm here. So now when I plant it, boom, I'm here, and I wanna hesitate, use my body, and I'm dragging that back foot into it. So I'm here, boom, dragging it right into my shot, all right? So here it is, as if I'm pushing a little bit faster, Boom, right into a pull-up jump shot. Okay, you can even take an extra dribble if you need to where you get a little closer. Boom, and you stop rather than really exaggerating that foot. If you're, that makes you a little more uncomfortable, get a little closer, use one extra dribble, slow down, and then use it. Okay, so what I mean by that is rather than going into it full speed and going into it, Use one extra dribble to take your time to really set you up. So go here, boom, and into it, right? Get a little closer so it makes it a little easier and a little more comfortable for you, all right? But this is the hesitation pull-up jumper. Again, if your defender's retreating, they're getting too far back off you, hesitate, stop on them, rise up, knock it down. Here it is at full speed. All right, Hoopers, well, that's it for today's video. Four different hesitation moves. The regular, couple counters, and then how to get to your pull-up jumper. If you liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up by clicking that like button, then leave a comment and let us know what you think and anything else that you may want to see down the road in the future that we can help you with because we love being a part of your success, giving you the tools and the opportunities to take your game to the next level. And the biggest thing that's gonna allow you to do that is by clicking that subscribe button and joining Think Pro Basketball, checking out all the great content that we have. We release brand new videos every single week to help you improve and take your game to the next level. But it's all on you to get out there and hit the gym and hit the court to put the work in most necessary to help you improve your game. Work on all the drills you saw in today's video on both sides of the court so you can use your left hand and right hand when using your hesitation moves. So until I see you again next time, get out there and put the work in and remember to always keep hooping.